Alright guys, today we are headed out here on Emerald Coast once again to continue a grind for a diamond Megphicus, which is the last diamond we need to finally complete our quest for every single diamond in the game. You know, the last few days I've been grinding really hard hoping to spawn a level 5 of these guys, but we're yet to have any luck at least when it comes to the big ones, because as you may remember we already got a melanistic which is amazing, so definitely the only thing we can do in order to spawn a diamond is to keep killing as many keys as possible and be patient. I mean in general it usually takes between 150 and 200 kills to spawn a diamond of any species and we're still below 100 kills which means that we're just starting the grind and it's a bit early to expect a diamond. I'ma try to drop at least 3 of this lock. You know there's nothing special on it but we have to kill as many as possible. Let's see. Alright. Not sure if we managed to get a fourth one, but we got at least three. So not too bad, I mean they are not gonna respawn until we kill the entire flock, but at least we made some progress on this one. Now that is definitely something I was looking forward to see early on this hunt, a max estimate label for Gander. I actually got a couple of these guys while making the last video and they both scored above 3.7 which is massive considering that the diamond score is 3.85. So seeing how often these max estimate level 4s get close to diamond, I think it's safe to assume that they can actually be big enough. I mean, I've never seen one, but I wouldn't be surprised at all if that can actually be the case in some rare occasions. Alright, apparently the whole flock is about to land and relatively close to our tripod. So what I'm gonna do is that I'ma go for the level 4 first and then I'ma go for a couple more. Alright, we got 3, not too bad. And we also managed to hit that one which makes 4 keys of a single flock. You know, if you can kill 3 or 4 keys per attempt, you can easily wipe out an entire flock in just a couple of attempts. So let's see if this level 4 is actually close to diamond, hopefully it is. 3.65, well he is not nearly as impressive as the 2 3.7 plus we got the other day but he's still decent, so he's certainly not even a trophy to start the hunt but we'll have to keep looking. Well we didn't have to wait too long after the last one, there we have another huge level 4 coming in. I mean I assume he's huge since he's a max estimate, although it is not guaranteed, he could simply be a medium sized gold. So it's undoubtedly nice to see another max estimate, but in the case they can actually be diamonds it must be like, you know, very very unlikely. I'm frankly not expecting my first diamond mech by guess, to be a level 4, I'm certainly looking for a level 5, but we're still gonna kill these level 4s because we need those respawns. He's landing, right in front of us. We are gonna wait for the others to land as well so we can shoot them. Alright, we got two. That's the third one. And we also got that one, which is the fourth one. So the question is, how big is this level 4? I'm honestly gonna be happy if it is at least bigger than the last one. You know, I don't expect it to be a diamond, although I certainly see it as a possibility. And he's a 3.5, man how is this guy even a max estimate, he's tiny. I imagine this is the bottom limit, you know I was certainly not expecting a diamond, but I was definitely hoping for something bigger. Alright guys, no level 5 yet, but we got a couple of interesting things coming in, first of all we have a level 4, another max estimate. And on this other flock I spotted something that is quite rare. You know it may be just as rare or even rarer than a diamond which is a max estimate level 4 female. It's certainly not common to see females with such size, I mean the vast majority of the max estimates are gonna be males that's for sure, but the females can also get quite big surprisingly. Although I don't think that they can actually get big enough to reach the diamond score because I've seen a few posted and all of them were around 3.5 so I would assume that they have a limit a couple decimals shy from diamond. So even though I would love to drop and boat here, I really doubt we'll have enough time to drop and boat at the same time, and even though the female is way rarer than the male, I'm still gonna go for the male first since it has way more potential to be huge. Let's go for it. Ok. 3 down. And that's the fourth one. We hit him twice. 
Well, apparently the level 4 female is already gone, as expected, but it's not really a problem since we're probably gonna see it again another day. Now let's see a score of this level 4, hopefully it is not as disappointing as the last one, which only scored 3.5. 3.6 well, it is just one decimal bigger than the last one, which is not a lot, but it's bigger at the end of the day, so not a small gander, but the grind will have to continue because our goal is to get a diamond. And finally, right before reaching 200 harvests, I just spotted what is the first level 5 of the grind. Our first level 5 mech by goose, and maybe the last goose we kill on this grind because I have no intention to continue it once I get the first diamond. You know, we cannot be sure if it is in fact a diamond, and we shouldn't get our hopes up too much because in the last few months I've seen a lot of troll mech by geese posted, and apparently a series very common here on Emerald Coast, they could be considered a troll happy species. You know, maybe not to the degree of the kangaroos and the rosa deer, which are known for trolling all the time, but they certainly troll quite often based on what I've seen. So I really hope this guy will make it, and I also hope he'll land close enough to our tripod to be able to use the record on it, because I would love to drop him with it. Ok, he's starting the landing animation, let's see. We gotta hurry up. And he's down. It was a very simple shot, but we needed to take it quickly since he landed incredibly close and he was probably about to spook. So anyway, let's see if this guy is in fact our first time on Mech by Goose. You know, as I said earlier, we shouldn't get our hopes up too much due to the fact that these guys troll quite often. But let's not keep thinking about that and let's simply claim it. Hopefully diamond. 3.88, he's a diamond, that's it. You know, he is not a giant diamond, he's actually barely over the diamond score, but what matters is that we finally have our diamond goose and we finally achieved our goal of getting every single diamond in the game, once again. Alright guys, I decided to go back to multiplayer with the only goal of finding even more diamonds and rares just for the sake of adding more variety to our trophy lodge. And well, as you can see, here we have the track of potentially the first diamond of this multiplayer hunt, which is a max estimate panting, so we are definitely gonna do our best to find it. And in case it is actually diamond potential, I'ma try to get him using the recurve since I'm yet to get a diamond panting using that bow and I would love to. Alright, there he is. Not really sure if that is in fact a potential diamond. You know, he seems to have one horn bigger than the other, so he may have a chance. But even though I said that my plan was to use the recurve in case it was actually diamond potential, I'ma use the rhino this time because I have my doubts. I mean, I really don't think he'll make it. Let's see. Should be a viral, at least a single long. And now he's down. Hopefully I'm wrong and this bull ends up making it, but as I said, I have my doubts. Although he's surprisingly diamond, 138.22, he made it. Man, it's actually surprising he made it with his weight, 753 kilograms, that's kinda low for a diamond to be honest. And of course, now I regret not using the record from this guy, we're gonna have to find another diamond. And luckily, we didn't have to wait too long for another potential chance, here we have another max estimate, right on this area. We know the odds of a max estimate panting being a diamond are way higher compared to any other species, so I'm definitely excited to see how big is this bull, hopefully big enough. And certainly this time, regardless of the horn size and how promising the estimate is, I'ma make sure to use the recurve. Ok, warning call. As you can see, there's the feed zone. So let's see if we can spot him here. Luckily they are calm. And he's a level 4 where a top estimate of 140, same estimate as the last diamond. And in fact, I really doubt it's the same max estimate because the tracks were originally heading on that direction, and as you can see, they are white, so it is definitely a different pool, and that means there are two potential diamonds on the same area. 
You know, we are not gonna make the same mistake again, and we're definitely gonna get this guy using the recurve, since the chance of it being a diamond is quite high. Alright, they are leaving the zone. And there's the big one, 50 meters out. I'm a 0 for 40. And let's go for it, we gotta let him to make him turn around. Let's see. And that should be viral. Yeah. Although a second shot wouldn't hurt. That's it. So the question is, is this guy big enough to be our first diamond panting with a recurve? Frankly, the impression I get is that he's a slightly smaller than the last one, but I could be wrong. And he's a 136.24, not a diamond. Sadly, he's a few decimals shy from diamond, but we cannot forget that there's another max estimate we need to track, and that one may be huge, hopefully. Well, unfortunately, the other big bull is even less promising than the last one, it only has a top estimate of 137, which is exactly the diamond score, so honestly I think it's very unlikely he'll be big enough, and for that reason we're not gonna waste time trying to get him using the recurve, especially because he's already fleeing. Let's see the size of this panting. 136.81, man, he's honestly way bigger than I thought he'd be, you know, I was expecting something like 134 or 135, and he ended up being less than 2 decimals away from 137, which is the diamond score. 